What is up, you guys? How's everybody doing out there? I hope you're having a super, super rad day. I am Ashley with AEH and Artistry. In case you do not know me yet, today's video is gonna be super chill. I just have recently got a few products that I want to try out. Not, not a few, like almost a full face of new products that I want to try out. Some of it's like newer, but you know, the makeup industry, like what was new a month and a half ago, is not new anymore. But it's new to me. So the Pure Four in One Love Your Selfie Foundation and Concealer. I've been wanting to try this and. And I saw a couple reviews last month for it and then it was on sale at Ulta. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see what the fuss is all about. This is the one that comes in a hundred different shades. I have a new lipstick from Revolution Pro that I wanna try that is now available in the States at Ulta. So it's super exciting. And then I just have some other products that I've just been wanting to try. Ulta was having some sales. I got some stuff sent to me and I, I wanna try all that. It's almost a full face minus the brows and maybe like whatever eyeliner I use and stuff. So I wanna try this. I wanna see what it's all about. And it's a good excuse to just chill with you guys do a little get ready with me video and maybe try some new goodies in here or maybe maybe there are some duds I don't know I didn't know what to call this video I don't know what to say except come hang out let me put some makeup on and we'll see what the goods is and we got a little chat going about this stuff and let me know if you've tried any of it or anything like that and uh, if you want to see all that if that all sounds good and dandy to you guys then you know what to do sit back hang tight and keep on watching <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the eyes. So I'll have you all zoomed in and up in my grill so you can see what's going on. I got these from Influencer. It's the Jane Iredell Naturally Matte Eyeshadow Kit and the Smooth Affair Eye Primer. So we're gonna be applying those today, playing around with that. Now, if you're not familiar with Jane Iredell, it's like a high-end kind of luxury price point mineral makeup brand. The Smooth Affair Primer I have used before. I haven't used it in the shade Naked. It's just like a nice basic primer. It's very basic. It comes in this little pot right here but let's see how this naked tint is and if you haven't signed up for influencer before um, I'll leave my referral link down in the description box I don't get any money for it or anything but I get like points when people, when people go to it but anyways it's like a way that you can try to get products sent for you to you whether you are you know in the makeup community or not anybody can apply i applied to start doing it before i even had a platform and i was sent stuff so it's pretty cool you just have to review it um, and post some reviews like real honest opinions and stuff too so that's really cool but this is going on really nice so it has like a pink tint like a shimmer tint to it but it's not really showing up necessarily i remember i used to use i don't remember the shade but i would do it on days that i didn't want to like fuss around and do like a full face, you know, my kind of mommy days running on the go. And then I would just set it with a powder or something and be on my way. But let's see how this works as like an actual primer because I don't really remember. Yeah, super, super simple, not crazy canceling, but it kind of diffused a little bit. So covers up a little bit of the discoloration, but not a lot, you know. Now I'm gonna go in with the Jane Iredell Naturally Matte Eyeshadow Palette now. This is gonna come with a disclaimer. Let me look up how much this costs again because I almost fell off my chair when I looked it up. Okay, okay, okay. $59 for this little guy. It is beautiful. Let me take off the little sleeve here so you can really see the shine. I mean, you know, it's gold, it's pretty, but this is the amount that you get. Now, I'm gonna say, if you like clean beauty, mineral makeup, like this is a high-end version of a mineral makeup line, so you get that price point $59. That's a lot like, oh, these aren't that big. To me, these make Natasha Denona and what is it? Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes look like a bargain because you get so many, even though it's 129, you get different foils and yeah, whatever. These are all matte. They're neutral. They're, they is what they is. You know what I mean? So if this is your cup of tea, if this is your game and you don't mind paying $59, then you know, I'm not gonna tell you you can't do that, but I mean, would I personally pick this up for $59? Well, I don't know, let's test it out, let's see. I actually used to use Jane Iredell products a lot a few years ago, because when I was managing a store, we sold this and I really liked it. I never really played around with the eyeshadow kits too much. There was one single that I loved called Bone, because it was like the perfect bone white shade, but I never played with the eyeshadow kits and I feel like these eyeshadow kits have been around for a while and they didn't used to be this expensive, but you know, prices always go up over the years and stuff. So let's just set the brow bone with this matte white shade. Okay, I mean, that went on easy enough, but 
it's a bone white shade, you know what I mean? Let's go in now with a little blending brush. Take this transition shade right here. Now there is like a gray shade in here. Gray doesn't look the best on me, so I mean, I probably wouldn't use that off the bat, but let's try and use this one and see what kind of pigment, what kind of blendability we get. I feel like there have been so many shows that launched recently, I guess because of summer. What have you guys been into? I'm obviously watching Stranger Things, but I'm only two episodes in right now because, okay. My husband couldn't really get into it. He watched the first season, but he was all, he was kind of confused and just kind of like meh. So he didn't watch the second season. I watched it all without him because I was like, I couldn't wait for him anymore. And he just wasn't that into it. So I'm like, whatever. But then he saw the ads for this third season and he was like, no, that looks pretty cool. I'll be into it. Cause he's like super into 80s stuff and everything. So uh, he started watching the first two episodes with me and now it's been a week later and he won't ever put it on. And I'm like, let's just watch it. Like, or tell me that I can watch it. Like, tell me what's going on. Does anybody else have that problem? It's like, like if you wanna watch it, then let's watch it. So instead, if he's not around, I've been trying to finish Riverdale because I started that last year and I think I'm halfway through season two. There's a lot of episodes in each season. So, you know, and they're each an hour long. So I'm getting back into that. The beginning of season two was kind of slow. So it was hard for me to get back into it. But the last few days I've been watching that and I think I have a lot of catching up to do. I think, is it three seasons right now or four seasons already? I don't know, I'm really behind, but uh, that's just what I'm into right now. What are you guys into? What are you guys watching? What is the 411? What's the hot gossip? So that is really pigmented, blended really nicely. Now I'm just taking the deepest shade in here and just going right into the crease to deepen that up. Colors seem to be blending very nicely together, very easy, effortless. So I will give it that. All right, and now I'm gonna take that same shade and just pop it onto the outer corner. I'm not gonna lie, it's always weird for me to play with an eyeshadow palette that's all matte because I'm just, I'm used to my shimmer baby. So this is a little weird. You know what? I'm not gonna take it on the inner corner. I'm gonna take it all over the lid, do like a little smoky brown matte look. Cause yeah, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do right there? Because I am a shimmer girl and there's no shimmer in here. Oh, so let's just do this. Let's just do that. Always a good way to find out if something comes off patchy or not is if you like try to layer it on the lid. But you know what? Not too patchy actually. Pretty nice, pretty smooth, pretty even. Okay. All right, I mean, overall, no complaints about the performance and the quality of this product. It's just the price point it just makes me fall over in my chair. $59 for five matte eyeshadows, but Again, I'm not gonna judge you if you guys are into that and you like clean beauty, mineral makeup, obviously the price point is probably justified by the quality of ingredients they use. I don't really know. I don't make the rules. I just show you guys what's up. So decide for yourself if you need that in your life or not. But I mean, I personally probably wouldn't purchase it, but to each their own. And you get this super luxurious little sponge tip applicator. Okay, that was me throwing shade, sorry, sorry. But Jane Iredell face products are awesome. If you like pressed powders that are mineral based, Jane Iredell's pressed foundations are amazing. Full coverage, breathable, don't make you break out and stuff. So if you've been on Bare Minerals for years and you wanna try something new, check out the Jane Iredell pressed face powders because those are top notch. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and jump onto liner, lashes, all that stuff. This is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. I just, I just grab whatever liners I have sometimes. I don't even care. I have like two different brown liners. So I grabbed this one today and I'm just lining the top and I did the lower lash line already. Okay, easy peasy. So with the Marc Jacobs Highliner, this is the black one called Blacker. I always like to do my upper waterline and I'm just gonna smudge that right in there. And let's go in with some mascara now, right after I curl my lashes. This is the Tarte Eyelash Curler. They don't make it anymore, sorry, but that's what I like to use. They always come out with really cool limited edition ones like a couple times a year. And this one was like, I think it's been like two years now. When was the Marnay collection out? I think two years ago. Oh, great, I had a freaking glitter on that. Clean your eyelash curlers, ladies and gentlemen, because now I just turn this matte one into slightly glittery. 
Oh well, I like glitter, whatever. And then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm gonna use the one I already have. I did get one in the Too Faced Party Essentials kit that I got last week, but I'm not gonna use the full size right now because I already have an open full size. Same thing, tomato, tomato. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that really quickly. And I'll put on some faux lashes, cause why not? That mascara is fantastic. I love the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I feel like it's like a total dupe at a way more affordable price point. But when I use this, I'm just like, oh, I love this too. I do, I love it. So for lashes, I recently ordered some Rogue, Rouge and Rogue, I, already, oh, I always mix it up, Rouge and Rogue lashes and they are amazing, you guys. They are like, no joke, I wore them in my Jeffree Star like Jawbreaker 3 looks in one video and they are not even joking. They don't play around. These ones that I got are like bang a rang, but I'm not gonna use that set today. I got a set that was like, a little less intense, but I still think it's gonna to be too intense for the look that I'm going for today. But let's let's check it out. Uh, <laughs> compared to the other ones, these don't look as intense, but Miss Fury, yeah, that's still a little intense. Let me show you what they look like. They the, the case, you guys, I am such like a sucker. It comes in this little, ooh, little thing. I don't know if you saw me open it on my Insta stories, but it comes with this like little fortune, which is so cute, just like, the, the whole packaging setup was so pretty and these lashes are like a good quality faux lashes. So they're completely in synthetic, cruelty free, but yeah, I mean, those are pretty, but nah, they're a little intense for right now. I don't really feel like being that intense today. I don't know why, it was more mellow today. So let me see, I'm gonna use these Kiss ones, I think. I mean, I don't really have to do lashes, I don't, but kind of feel like it and I kind of don't. I'm in one of those moods where like, I don't know, I kind of don't want to, but I kind of do. Kind of do, kind of don't, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so these are the Kiss Couture Foam Ink Collection and this is the shade, not the shade, this is the style Boudoir. I've worn them once before, so they're not totally new, sorry, but I don't think I wore them for you guys. I think I just wore them. Let's see, these ones are pretty fluttery, but still not like long and crazy. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna apply those. I'm gonna use my House of Lashes Lash Glue. I cannot talk today. I'm just gonna, whatever. I'm just gonna go with it. House of Lashes Lash Glue, and I like the shade Dark. So I'm gonna apply those really quickly, and I'll be right back in a Jiffy Jam. All right, I'll do my lower lash line, like shadow and stuff when we're all done, because that's what I feel like doing today. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Obsession Even Out Primer. I really have been enjoying this primer. I got it at Target for like five bucks, and it's been pretty nice. I really like it. Hopefully it matches with this foundation though. Mm, yes, uh, looks like they both have silicone in it, so it should be fine. I've really been enjoying this primer, by the way. I think that it's really nice and you can't beat five bucks. They're pretty good, helps to even out all that redness. I mean, it's called even out, so it does a good job of canceling all that redness out. I don't all of it. It's not like super intense green, as you can see, but it just helps a little bit. So usually I would cover up my discoloration on my cheeks, but I'm not gonna do that today because this is supposed to be a foundation and concealer in one which I'm always skeptical of. I got the shade LN6. How did I pick my shade on this? It was kind of tricky because there was a hundred shades. Oh, I went onto Pure's website. There we go. I went onto Pure's website and they had a shade finder that you could put in like your different foundations that you like to use. And they had a ton, a ton in there. So I don't remember which one I did. Oh, I actually did the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation because I feel like that is my perfect shade match and this is the one that it said was that. I put in a couple of different ones that I have and they were all kind of different. Like it all came up different foundations that they would recommend, but I figured I'll go with the Juvia's Place shade match because that one is the bee's knees. This one, LN6, I think that stands for light neutral number six. So let's see. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so this is a pump and then on the other side, is a spatula that is so cool. So I guess let me let me cover up discoloration with this. Is this supposed to be concealer too? Oh, it does. It kind of feels it kind of feels like like um like the Jeffree Star Magic Star concealer. That's kind of what it feels like. Let me take this brush and just blend that out. That's pretty nice. Okay, I like that. Pretty cool. 
Oh, I quite like that. Okay, and then for a regular brush, I don't know if I should do a brush or a sponge, but I'm kind of a brush girl when it comes to liquid foundation. So I'm gonna do that. Let me put this back on and pump it into my hand. This is like a pretty affordable foundation, even when it's not on sale. Let me tell you how much it is. So 36 bucks, not bad. I got it on sale for 25, even better. And it's one ounce, cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, all of that. It says blue light defense and stuff. I don't know what any of that means, but the shade match seems pretty good for me. I like the price point. Um, I like, I mean, 100 shades, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot. And especially if they're not gonna carry them all in stores. I believe Ulta doesn't have them all in stores. So you have to kind of trust, trust the system when you go to Pure Sight. But I guess it's like a tiny bit light for me, but the tone is pretty nice. And I just use way too much, so there's that too. What kind of finish is this supposed to be? I have no idea. Long wear. And what else? What else? What other information do I need to know? I know it's like Raw Beauty Christie's favorite foundation lately. And I'm like, okay, girl, I'm gonna try it. And I actually saw a couple of reviews. I wasn't gonna necessarily review this foundation because so many people had reviewed it already, but then it was on sale. I can't help myself. I was like, okay, I'll try it. Let me know if you guys would want like a full on review where I do like a wear test and everything. I guess we'll kind of see how it goes today. But if it goes good, let me know if you want to see that and I'll do a separate video dedicated to this, but I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to try it on. Not a pretty good coverage, but pores are a little emphasized over here, which I don't love. What is this supposed to be, matte or what? Oh, natural skin-like finish. Okay, all right. Four in one, what is the four different things? So they understand foundation and concealer. What is the other two things? Maybe that it has nice ingredients and long wearing. I don't know. What are they, what are the, what, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems a little matte on my skin. It does. Hmm. Oh yeah, and this is like um, a plastic bottle. It looks like it's glass, but it's definitely plastic, which makes it less likely to break, which is nice, but it still has like a luxurious look to it. So that's kind of cool on the packaging. I like the pump and the spatula, I think that's really neat. How do they do that, by the way? Wait a second. What kind of met? Oh, whoa, it goes through the sponge tip, the little hole. That is innovative, pure. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. I didn't think about that. It's like thinking here, brushing it on. I was like, wait a second. How do they get the foundation to go through the sponge tip? That is really cool. That is really neat. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and use it as a concealer now. I guess I'll use my sponge for this. I don't know. Why not? A well, pretty good coverage though. Pretty good. I just am not sure about the finish yet. Let's take this little spongy tip. It's not like super fluffy. It's just like the perfect amount, I guess. Now I would usually use a lighter one to like help brighten, but we're gonna just do this. This might be good for like more acne spots and stuff that you want a little extra coverage on as opposed to brightening, unless you got a totally different one, but then that'd be more expensive. But it covered up my redness. I had like a big old pimple. It wasn't even a pimple anymore. It was just like a big red spot and it covered that pretty good. Let's cover a little more over here. I can't really brighten, so I guess I don't need to do that. It's kind of, is foundations and concealers in one kind of like shampoo and conditioner in one where it's like, sounds nice in theory, but it doesn't actually work great i don't know we'll see what this one i didn't like what is it milani that has one that's the conceal and foundation i don't like that one. Oh my gosh i mean i like it as a foundation but i don't want to get out of concealer it's like it's just so thick so thick crease city oh my gosh but full coverage i mean that's blending nice i can't knock that just doesn't brighten as much because it's the same exact shade you know you know okay how do i like this how do i like this finish let me see i guess it is kind of skin like but it just it borders it borders on matte for me huh i might need to pair it with like a more hydrating primer that even out primer doesn't hydrate at all it's just all about evening out the skin tone i think based off of first impressions that's what i would do because i have dry skin but if you don't have dry skin then you won't have that problem mostly full coverage but i mean that little red spot that i have it's kind of getting dry right now so i wonder if it's supposed to control oil or anything 
I better set my under eyes because it's really wanting to crease up every other second when I talk. So, so for my setting powder, I'm gonna use this Too Faced Banana Powder. Again, a full size that came in this set. Holy moly. I've been eyeing this collection since it came out, but I just couldn't justify it because I had so many other things. But I have been looking for a good like pressed setting powder because sometimes they're not as mattifying and this one smells so nice. So nice. It reminds me of like a less intense like banana smelly marker. I don't usually like artificial banana smells, but this smells nice. It's subtle, it's not too intense. And this packaging is so cute. It's from the Tutti, Tutti Fruity collection from Too Faced that came out last year. And look at the little banana in there too. Love the compact. I just think it's really cute. And I'm a sucker for cute packaging, okay? I'm gonna take this little kind of wide flat brush and oh, I don't wanna mess up the bananas in there. They're so cute. And then let's press it on. Hopefully this doesn't matter too much because I'm already feeling a little bit dry. Oh, I guess, oh, the foundation is drying down. Yeah, it's not even that wet still. So I guess you don't need a lot of powder anyways, which can be good. This powder isn't mattifying too much. Okay, the little stickers in the mirrors are cute, but it kind of makes it hard to see. <laughs> oh, don't I love it when I get foundation all up in my nose ring? I love it. Oh, it's such a cute look, such a cute vibe. <laughs> I need a little bit of smaller brush for underneath the eyes now. And then I need to pat one more time because I would definitely have to have to set my under eyes with powder because this is rolling right into those little tiny smile ends I have under my eyes. Dust it on in there and hope that that doesn't crease anymore. Does the banana powder brighten? Does it give off too much yellow? Mm. For me, it's a little too yellow. Oh man, right under my eyes. Like my, my under eyes for some reason already get really yellow depending on what powders I use. So this, that's too yellow. Man, I was afraid of that. That's why I've been also hesitant to buy this banana powder because a lot of banana powders look too yellow on my already yellow skin. But I was hoping it would be a little less pigmented, I guess. This is just so cute. I'm such a sucker. Oh my gosh but maybe I just don't do it under my eyes. Maybe I just use this to set all over or to like keep it in my purse if I need a touch up. But if you like actual banana powder, it's not too pigmented, but it's a little, it has a little pigment in there. I can definitely tell my under eyes look more yellow and it just looks odd. So did I just ruin this look? Maybe, maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is originally like 20 something. So because I got this whole set for 20 something. <laughs> what? What a steal. Okay, and then this little guy is so cute. This is a travel size version of the, what is this? Pineapple Sun. Oh, it smells like yummy sunscreen, not the gross kind of sunscreen, like the yummy kind. Like Kula or something like a pina colada plus sunscreen summer vacation in a cute little pineapple box. There we go. Even for a deluxe size, this is really cute. So I'm gonna use this to bronze up my face. I'll just swirl it into both. It's like a little highlighty side and a side that's more satin, not completely matte. But oh, it even has a cute little pineapple. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm such a sucker, such a sucker. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Ooh. You know, Too Faced bronzers for a while was were just, they just weren't working for me. So I kind of like lost hope on them. But this, this is so, so, so pretty. Ooh, I really like that. Really, really like that. Bring me back to life. A beautiful pineapple of my dreams. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it smells so good too. Great, I should have gotten one of the berry blushes. Those were on sale too, why didn't I get it? Uh, they'll probably go back on sale, it's okay. I don't know if that's full coverage foundation. Yeah, I mean, it almost is, but I still see a lot of my discoloration under there. I can always tell when all my face isn't done because everything starts pulling through. I would still go in with a different concealer, I think, with this foundation, I think I would. That's a little shimmery. The shimmer is a little shimmery. I can see it on my forehead, but for a bronzer, I do not mind that at all. So I'm gonna go pick a blush 
out of my bag of tricks because I don't have any blushes over here. Let me go do that really quick. And then we'll do some lippies because I got two lippies for you. Woohoo! Almost done. All right, now for lips, let me first go in with the Revolution Pro New Neutral Satin Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade Stripped. Oh, it's hard to open. Let me get my scissors. So it has this like cute little gold leopard design. That's really pretty. How much were these? They are new to Ulta in the States. Um, it is a part of the Makeup Revolution brand. So this is Revolution Pro. This one is $9. So I don't know if they're in stores yet. Oh, that's sad. Brand new and already messed up. It's or it's it's up in that tube right there, but I'm not gonna go through the hassle of returning it online and stuff. There are no questionable fibers. There's just a little bit of damage from shipping and stuff and and whatever. They've been sitting in this room for a week, so who knows if it got too hot. I They just, they didn't, I don't know. That's just sad. You know what it looks like? That's a defect of that. It just looks like it doesn't, go like it doesn't go down enough because it's right at the edge so if it peeks out a little bit the cap is not long enough now i'm curious to see if anybody else had that problem because that looks like an error on their part anyways let me see how this color looks that is so creamy oh my goodness it's so hard to get a precise line now Ooh, so creamy this shade is really pretty a little bit pinky, like a pinky nude. This formula, you guys. Oh, it feels really nice. I just wonder what, what's going on with that cap. I don't know. I gotta go investigate and find out who else had a problem with the cap. If nobody else did, then it was just not, it was up too much when they put the cap on it, but maybe it slipped out. It doesn't look like it fell out of its base though, so. And the thing was completely, completely sealed. I don't know, I don't know, whatever. Okay, you guys are probably like, whatever, move on. But I'm like, I like my products to look brand new when they're brand new. But everything was sealed top and bottom and everything, so. I know it wasn't tampered with and there's no questionable foreign matters in the lipstick. So that's really all that, all that really matters these days. I feel that is so rich and creamy. Oh, wow. I could just like do that all day. Wow. Yeah. I like that. I like it. I like a lot. This I would throw on when I'm like on the go or just like have a neutral look like this, but I want to see, I wanna see about this Tutti Frutti lip gloss that came in this set. This is called Grit and Bear It. And I wanna see because when I smelled these last year, I thought it smelled a little chemically, but it's not as bad. I Maybe it was just the testers were like weird, you know, like maybe they had been used or cleaned and then put the alcohol back in. I don't know what they do there. So let me put it on, this is the lip gloss, right? Yeah, lip glaze. Cause they had, they had eye ones too. And I only put in glitter eye stuff on my lips. It's a little chunky. Ooh, these pair are so pretty together. Why is the trash truck here? It's not Wednesday. Oh, it is Wednesday. Oh, that's why the trash truck is here. Okay, all right. All right, while the trash truck was being super noisy for like five minutes and totally ruining my vibe, I went ahead and did the lower lash line with the same colors that I did on the top with the Jane Iredell Naturally Matte Palette. And then I threw on some mascara for the lower lash line. And then I realized while I was doing that, <laughs> My skin does look a little bit glowy, but I ain't wearing any highlighter yet. So I need to, and I haven't used the Sigma Chroma Glow on camera in a long time. And I feel like it's such an underrated highlighting palette. It is so pretty. And it's the kind of highlight that doesn't look chunky and textured. It just looks very wet and nice and really pretty. So let me demonstrate. I usually do quite a mix because like this shade is a little too light for me. This shade is like perfect, but then I love these shades, but they're just like a little too dark for me. So I always kind of like do a mix. Today I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling ambrosia though. So let me do ambrosia and maybe I'll mix in a little bit in there of different stuff. But I, oh, see, it's just so pretty. It's so nice and I like it. Yeah, that's really pretty. Always bring some on the top. And then let me take a little bit of Peaceful, which is the lightest shade, and I just put it right in the center of what I did. And that will just give it a little extra pop, you know? Bring some dewiness back to my life. Pretty glowy. Ooh, I like that. That's looking nice. I feel like something's missing though, and I think I need to do a little strip of liquid liner on top. I think I need to do a little bit, because I just, 
I'm not used to like being so flat. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Yeah, that is a little bit better. I think for the lashes that just, that just pulls everything in better rather than, they just felt like they just like, look like they were just stuck on there to popped. And now it just feels like it blends in a little bit better. I don't know. One more thing to use. I got this little travel size when I did my Ulta order, the Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe, sage, and orange blossom. I've never used anything from Mario Badesco before. Well, that's a lie. I think I used the Agony Spot treatment before. I don't remember, but this is my first time using one of his sprays and I just looked online and it says you can set your makeup with it. It seemed more like a skincare product, but it said you can set your makeup with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe it'll help bring this foundation a little bit moisture, bring it back to life. Let's see. Oh, ooh, oh, I don't like the, the sprayer. The sprayer is not very good. Maybe because it's the travel size, but it just kind of right onto my face. I, that, that wasn't pleasant, though. No. Ooh, smells quite nice though. Smells nice, okay, interesting. Now I wanna spray it again. Okay, how does that kind of sunscreen smell? Maybe that's the aloe, ooh, that's quite aromatherapy-ish. Pretty nice smell, like that. Did it help? I feel like I look a little more glowy. Maybe, maybe not, maybe it's the same. I don't know. All right, you guys, I actually just changed my t-shirt too because I gotta be honest, I wasn't like 100% feeling the makeup look. I thought it was really pretty, just like a simple look, but something was just missing. And then I changed my t-shirt and I was like, oh, it was the t-shirt all along. I just feel like the black and then like, uh, it's like total Star Wars shirt. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with the makeup look, but I just, I feel like the black vibe just looks a little more smoky, a little more sultry, but it's still natural. So I just like this vibe a little bit better. It's silly, I know, but I'm getting ready with you guys and that's what I decided to do. So I uh, switched it up, but <laughs> funny what a difference an outfit can make, right? That's what happens to you when I get dressed before my makeup look and then I have to change it because it's like, something's not right. Have you guys ever went shopping for like new clothes or something and you weren't wearing any makeup or anything, your hair is all done? And I do that a lot. And then I'm always like, I don't know if I like this outfit, something missing. It's cause it's like my whole look's not done. And it just like throws me all off. So now if I'm gonna go clothes shopping, I need to at least wear a little bit of makeup because like, that's what I like to do. Then you know what I mean? Do you, do you smell when I'm stepping in, you see? But anyways, here's the finished look all done up, all complete for you guys to see. It is looking a little bit more glowy with the highlighter and the Mario Badesco spray, but I just feel like overall that foundation is a little bit matte for my skin, at least with that primer pairing. So I'm gonna be playing around with it. I'm gonna try some hydrating primers with it because I have hopes it's almost full coverage. I would still pair it with a concealer on my cheeks and like under eyes and stuff to help brighten and just get a little more coverage on the cheeks because that's just my personal preference. But I have hopes, I have hopes. If you guys wanna see like a dedicated video reviewing this with a wear test, trying different primer and all of that. Let me know down in the comments and I will try to do that for you guys really soon. Now, as far as like this party box, if this is still available or not, I'm not sure. They were probably just trying to get rid of it because it had been out for a while, but they are sold singly, except the travel size. I don't know if that travel size of that bronzer is sold singly, but the full sizes. It's funny because I got this specifically because I wanted the banana powder. I almost bought the banana powder because that was on sale too, but for a couple dollars more, you got this whole set. So that was the product I was most excited about about and it's probably the product that I like the least in this box because it has a little more yellow pigment than I was expecting. It is a banana powder though, so I can't fault them on that. That's just my wishful thinking. So under my eyes specifically, it's just a little too yellow. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but in person I can see that I'm a little too yellow under there. Everywhere else though, it was really pretty. It was more translucent or it didn't pick up maybe because your skin is more sensitive under the eyes. It just grabbed onto that yellow pigment a little bit more. So I do like it for that. I don't look too like, I didn't extra mattify me or anything. It just looked nice, like a nice setting topping powder but I'll just use something different under my eyes. The bronzer was really nice. I was not expecting that to look as beautiful and just natural and just like a nice, perfect tone as it did. I don't think it's gonna be great for deeper, darker skin tones because it was a little bit more on the lighter side. You could build it up a little bit, but I think it's mostly meant for fair, light, maybe medium skin tones for that one. And the lip gloss, the lip gloss surprised me because when I smelled those in stores last year, it was just like, no, but today, beautiful, smells nice, feels great. It's not sticky at all, by the way. It feels super smooth. It's been on for like, I'm not gonna lie, it's already been like a half an hour or more because I just, I take my time when I'm filming, especially get ready with me, especially when I'm changing my t-shirt and stuff, but it feels nice. I still see the glossiness. I still feel the shine, but it's not sticky. It's not greasy. It's just really enjoyable, really beautiful. And the, st the smell wasn't strong at all. It was just very light and subtle fruity. And this lipstick, 
this lipstick was so creamy. Oh, I gotta find, I got, I might have to pick up some more shades in this because it's hard for me to find a lipstick for me that I love. And first impressions, this, this one is up there, up there, beautiful. I think I said everything that needs to be said about this Jane Iredell palette. I mean, $59. You do you if that's what you're into. I feel like it's faded a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit faded already and like kind of getting a little bit patchy. So to me, it's not worth the price, but everybody's different. If you want that clean, natural mineral makeup and you don't mind spending some more, you might like it. And they have a few different palettes to choose from too. There was one thing to be said too though, Fingerprint City, I wiped it off a little bit. Just like that, oh my, it, fingerprints. It had so many fingerprints on it. I already wiped it off and put it in the box because that's just what I, I tend to keep boxes of things. Uh, primer, I didn't really see much of a difference, but like I said, for like a quick, you know, primer, just want to slap it on and then put some powder on top. Maybe, so maybe that's what's making it patchy though. It could be the primer because it was kind of like a, not greasy primer, but it did have a little bit of a wet feeling, you know? That could be it. I feel like as I'm talking, the eyeshadow is only getting patchier, which I don't like. But anyways, was there any other like new things I need to mention? I mean, the Mario Badesco spray that just smelled nice. Hard to tell off of first impressions, anything. I just didn't like the sprayer of it. I think that's it. If you have any questions about the products that I use, definitely ask them down in the comments below. And then for sure, let me know if you want a dedicated video on the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. If you are new here by some crazy reason, YouTube recommended to get ready with me from me and you're like, who is this girl? What is she yelling about? What's going on? Well, I'm just super passionate about makeup. I love all things beauty and I post beauty related videos here on the tube at least three times a week and I have so much fun filming for you guys so much fun trying new products all the time just getting down to the nitty-gritty and finding out what is good what is worth your coin and all that stuff so if you want to take a moment to consider hitting that red subscribe button right down there below that would be great then you get notified when I post new videos and for everybody out there don't forget to tap that bell if you actually want to get notified because YouTube has said that they won't notify people if that bell is not tapped or they'll just notify you occasionally but if you want to know all of my videos, tap that little bell. Just give a little tappy tap tap McTopperson. P.S. Raise your hand if you noticed that I got a new mic a couple weeks ago because I did. Here she is. I'll try not to yell in it because it's on this boom stand and got it a couple weeks ago. Didn't mention it. Just did it and bada bing by a boom. There you go. Thank you so much to everybody out there who sticks with me through all my different channel upgrades and who has been there in the bare bones and to continue staying with me and everything. And that's so cool. You guys are awesome. You guys are freaking awesome. I love you guys. And I hope that every single one of you out there have a great freaking awesome, wonderful, beautiful day.